Jadon Sancho has reportedly been removed from Manchester United's WhatsApp group as his exile shows no sign of ending. The £73 million winger has been forced to train on his own at the academy and barred from using first-team facilities since publicly branding manager Eric Ten Hag a liar over his reasons for dropping him for the 3-1 away defeat by Arsenal in September. Sancho removed the social media post media but refused to apologize for the outburst resulting in a now prolonged absence from the senior squad. According to The Sun, the 23-year-old is no closer to reintegrating with his teammates and instead has been axed from another link to the United dressing room. They report that Sancho has been removed from the team's WhatsApp group which is used by Ten Hag and his staff to send key information to the players. Last month it was revealed that United will listen to offers for the England international in January, two and a half years on from his big money move from Borussia Dortmund. The club were prepared to accept £45 million for Sancho in the summer and may now be persuaded to agree to a loan move away from Old Trafford in January, particularly if it came with a guarantee of a permanent transfer. Jadon Sancho refused to apologize for a social media outburst that claimed he had been made a scapegoat and branded Eric Ten Hag a liar. The £73 million winger has been forced to train on his own at the academy and barred from using first-team facilities since publicly branding manager Eric Ten Hag a liar over his reasons for dropping him for the 3-1 away defeat by Arsenal in September. Sancho removed the social media post media but refused to apologize for the outburst resulting in a now prolonged absence from the senior squad. According to The Sun, the 23-year-old is no closer to reintegrating with his teammates and instead has been axed from another link to the United dressing room. The report that Sancho has been removed from the team's WhatsApp group which is used by Ten Hag and his staff to send key information to the players. United are prepared to take a significant loss on Sancho, if it means supporting Ten Hag who was brought in to improve discipline which had lapsed under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralf Rangnick. Sources point out that this was not Sancho's first transgression under Ten Hag, whose strict rules led to him dropping top scorer Marcus Rashford at Wolves last season and more recently labeling his post-derby day night out as unacceptable. Ten Hag has never been drawn to speak publicly on Sancho's removal from the United first team, with the Dutchman keeping his counsel when asked on the England international following the incident in September. Sancho's public opposition to his manager was by far the most serious offence, and they will continue to back Ten Hag to the hilt, mindful that discipline is the bedrock for his United rebuild.